Good afternoon, friends. A, wall, a warm welcome to you all for the Sugadi uh, Telugu New Year service. As we come together in celebration of Sugadi, let our hearts resonate with the rhythm of hope. May the changing seasons mirror the shifts within us, inspiring growth and resilience. In this sacred place, let us find solace and strength, embracing the promise of a new year with open hearts. May the blessings of Sugadi fill our leaves with harmony and may our collective energy amplify the spirit of togetherness. Let us look to God and pray. Gracious Creator, as we gather together on this auspicious occasion of Ugadi, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and anticipation for the blessings of the new year. May this Ugadi mark a time of renewal and transformation in our lives, both individually and collectively. Help us to let go of the past and embrace the future with faith and courage. As we reflect on the significance of Ugadi, remind us of your faithfulness and goodness in every season of our lives. May your love be the foundation of all that we do, and may your name be glorified in all the earth. Amen. Let us all stand and sing the opening hymn, O Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder. I see that sky.
please be seated. Dear friends, let us confess together. Gracious and merciful God, as we gather on this sacred day of Ugadi, we come before you with confident hearts, recognizing the brokenness and injustice in our world. We confess that we have often turned a blind eye to the suffering of others, including our farmers who toil tirelessly to feed us and the degradation of nature which sustain us all. We have failed to stand up for those who are marginalized and oppressed. We acknowledge our complicity in systems of injustice, discrimination and exploitation. Forgive us, Lord, for our apathy, our indifference and our silence in the face of injustice. Forgive us for the times when we have per perpetuated stereotypes, fostered division and neglected the needs of vulnerable. We repent of our sins and commit ourselves to the pursuit of justice, equality and compassion. Help us to be faithful stewards of the earth, cultivating harmony with nature and seeking justice for those who depend on the land for their livelihoods. Help us to be agents of change in our communities, advocating for the rights and dignity of all people, regardless of their caste, ethnicity, gender, or socioeconomic status. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God grant us pardon and remission for all our sins. Let us be assured in the grace and forgiveness of the Lord, knowing that we are loved and cherished. Know that we are forgiven, redeemed, and called to be ambassadors of reconciliation and hope. Let us go forth in the power of the Holy Spirit, proclaiming the good news of God's kingdom and working for the transformation of society. Amen. Now, a special song will be presented by our ma'am, Miss Rose Sheila Stella. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
dear friends on behalf of telugu friends i wish you all a happy and a joyful ugadi and i want to thank the group for giving me this opportunity and i also thank our principal and the staff council for giving us this chance to celebrate in the midst of a heavy schedule thank you sir and thank you all my colleagues and ugadi is celebrated in andhra pradesh telangana karnataka and maharashtra and of course in maharashtra it is called gudi padwa to mark the beginning of the new year and of course this year ugadi falls on april 9 and uh, we are celebrating today because during that time uh, we are all writing exams and people will not be there to celebrate and so uh, one month ahead we are celebrating this day and uh, what is the significance of the term ugadi ugadi comes from a sanskrit term yugadi yuga means um, uh, in sanskrit yuga means uh, generations or beginning of new era or beginning of new age or new yuga the four yugas as we all know so our it is also uh, signifies um, from sanskrit yuga the beginning of creation though each religion has its own uh, uh, stories uh, to talk about the beginning of creation uh, we also have in genesis in the beginning there was a beginning sometime so hinduism calls it yuga or okay from sanskrit we call it yuga the age and adi the beginning so yugadi from there ugadi comes the beginning of a new age and as per the spiritual science s c i e n c e science or um, astro uh, astron astron what is that astronomy um, uh, people have uh, made the, this day april 9th as the ugadi day um based on the planetary arrangement that already has been set in by the nature on the day of ugadi the distance between the sun and the earth is on average distance and uh, and also the the date is set um uh, on the base uh, on the basis of the movement of the moon and on this day the distribution of the sunlight on the earth is equal or uniform on the entire planet the earth and of course you can also browse through later on and, and and learn more so the equal distribution of sunlight on the planet the earth results in equal length of the day and the night a day and night has equal timing on this day and this equation is also similar to the equinox ugadi falls on vernal equinox the beginning of the spring when sun crosses the equ equator day and night become equal in length of course the earth moves around not the sun but that's how we we uh, uh, we look at the sun as if the sun moves around but we are moving around anyway so that is the setting for the day based on the stars and that their movement the ugadi uh, the uh, uh, ugadi for this year is fixed on april 9 okay what is the significance of ugadi that people celebrate why do we celebrate particularly um it it normally falls uh, uh, in the month of march or or april uh, and it's a day of beginning of fresh old leaves fall and you can see on uh, our campus um dry leaves everywhere and fall, uh, leaves fall down and a new fresh shoot begins and you after going out you can have a look at the mango trees and neem trees etc and you find a shoot chiguru we call it mavi chiguru or vapa chiguru we call it okay and you can see that so a new beginning a new a fresh leaves and it is also celebration of welcoming a warm weather um a spring the the fading away of cold weather of course cold weather we need we need that season but cold cold weather signifies a kind of laziness no we don't feel like being active we want to sleep some more time 
cover with uh, big, big bed sheets uh, or rugs, et cetera, we don't want. In some parts of the country, and particularly in the, in the West where there's so much of cold weather, people are so much depressed, waiting to see sun. Okay, so the, the, the celebration of Ugadi, of Ugadi um, is, uh, it signifies the fading away of cold um, weather and then uh, um, accepting and welcoming the warmth. And whenever we wish people, we always say warm greetings, warm, the love, warm, not cold greetings, right? So, so Ugadi signifies welcoming the warmth. And also in, in Telugu, we call um, this as uh, Vasanta Rutu begins. Vasantam, a beautiful word, I like it very much. Vasantam signifies a joy a beautiful smell of jasmines. And of course, in Chennai, you find jasmines everywhere. But, uh, but, but in these places, particularly in Andhra, but nowadays uh, things are changed. But the spring begins with the smell of jasmines everywhere, a beautiful smell. The joy comes with jasmines, right? And, uh, and then um, coil, I don't know how to pronounce it in English, koila in Telugu and the, and the songs that you can hear early mornings when you get up, the beautiful songs begin uh, in this season. So there's so much. And when we look at the nature, nature is happy um, as much as human beings are. And we, we uh, and then tender mangoes that we can see on the trees and then and many other things that come up during this season and, and just go around and see tamarinds and new tamarinds everywhere. Uh, let us look at our own trees and um, a new flowers bloom everywhere. So it's a beautiful season to celebrate. And not only that, uh, you all had tasted before you entered um, into the chapel, uh, Ugadi Pachadi, and that is the speciality of this festival. And this Ugadi Pachadi, I don't know, what are the different tastes, can someone say? Oh yeah, you keep quiet, yeah? You people should keep quiet, okay. The others who taste it, maybe you have tasted it, but definitely you know it. I'm simply asking, okay. I know you all know this taste. Every year we celebrate, right? What are all different tastes you tasted? Not this community, <laughs> the, the Telugu people. Please keep quiet, you are celebrating. Sweet, salt, bitter, Okay, sweet shadruchulu, shadruchulu, all six tastes. Sweet, sour, and then um, uh, bitterness, bitter taste. And then you didn't say one thing, maybe you didn't feel it so much. Um, spicy, you didn't feel spicy. So there are different uh, tastes. So this is uh, called, we call it, uh, Shadruchlu. And so uh, how do we make this chutney or this pachadi out of neem shoots or flowers, which taste bitter and jaggery and new jaggery, which is a color, a color is also white, but I don't know whether we were able to get all these things because still one more month to go to get uh, exact things. So, and then uh, jaggery or uh, pepper or green chili, green chili, chili we should put, but our friends have put, a, to make it even so hot, they put red chili, but usually we need to, we, we should make it little, um, a little spicy. And then tamarind um, and uh, uh, fresh tamarind and salt and tender mangoes and mix with water. And this is um, Ugadi chutney. And all these tastes represent human emotions we experience every day. And of course, all these ingredients are very good for health. It seems in the olden days, now things are changing and we are becoming hi-fi kind of stuff. We don't give more attention to this stuff. But in the olden days, it seems um, beginning of uh, Ugadi from that day until one month, they, they, they take this chutney every day in the morning so that uh, we can keep our, uh, uh, I mean, so that they could keep their health um, uh, clearly and then trying to balance their minds, etc., and to keep themselves active. Uh, and this Ugadi uh, Pachadi symbolizes various experiences of life connecting with human emotions. 
jaggery, sweet, represents happiness and pleasantness. I will take another two minutes. Uh, jaggery represents sweet, I mean, the taste is sweet and it represents happiness and pleasantness. Tamarind, sour, unpleasantness. Tender mango, tangy, uh, ogaru, we, we call in Telugu ogaru, tangy, surprises in life. Neem, bitterness, symbolizes sadness. Black pepper or green chilies, normally we put in this chutney, spicy, very hot, anger, and salt, saltiness represents fear. I don't know in our chutney which is uh, which is uh, dominant, um, whether sweet or salt or whatever. But actually, as we taste it, we need to understand that the life is a mixture of all these emotions and all these experiences. And as the day and the night is balanced according to the stars, our life need to be balanced. No, no taste should be more. Everything should should be balanced. If we eat too much of sweet, it will spoil health. Too much of salt, it will spoil health. And any of these items, nothing should be too much. Everything must be balanced and life must be balanced in all these emotions, in our experiences. Friends, as we celebrate Ugadi, as the cold season fades away, let all negativity fade away from us, all the past mistakes. Let's learn from there, but not remembering those mistakes and hurt ourselves. Let's, let's start a new beginning, a new beginning, a new decisions, a new balance in our lives. And we need to enjoy all these days that come with different surprises and different things in our life. And let us take it. And for us, Though we are celebrating, though, though Ugadi is on April 9th, we are celebrating it today. Let every day be a Ugadi day for us. Let us start a new beginning every day and let's have a joyful celebration of this day and let all your days be a joyful Ugadi days. God bless you and thank you. Check, check, check,
you say new year ha huh? you are telling new beginning yeah ha huh? you are telling so many things ha huh? huh? but everything is same ha yes sir ka it is same yeah problems are same ha huh? challenges are same ha oh. life is same ha huh? what is new anna see we have to understand oh. when incarnation of christ happened ah. the new year has begun oh. for some religions or traditions ah. ugadi is just a new year is just a climate change ah. but ah. it for some people ah. it might be a seasonal change oh. but ah. we should understand that ah. incarnation of christ ah. has begun new era oh. has begun new beginnings oh. so without jesus ah. ugadi is in vain oh. see rajan again doubt you are telling so many things doubt after doubt yeah what okay do? what is your doubt you are telling new beginning yeah new things are happening ha ah. but did ever anyone say so many people when jesus incarnated into this world oh. and when when he encountered people oh. when he met people oh. so many transformed their oh. life oh. and today oh. i will tell you about one person oh. whose life was transformed oh. after meeting jesus sandano devadana hey అన్ని ఉన్నాయేమి లేనోడి వైతివా అన్ని ఉన్నాయేమి లేనోడి వైతివా 
नुबु ले नोडी वाई दीवा अन्ने उन्ना ले ले नोडी वाई दीवा ऐसा ये अच्छा कर रक्षण बंदे बुझे कई हायो जे कई but don't worry but don't worry when chekka you climb the tree a big thing was happen oh. oh what do you think did jesus saw chekka he rajana ah if jesus is a holy man yes jesus is a holy man then ah. holy man should not see zacchaeus ah you think jesus holy. didn't see zacchaeus yes ah. jesus should not meet him Oh Jesus should not met him that's Jesus what you think should, should not, not touch, touch him also. Jesus didn't touch him that's what you think huh? yes oh ho huh. but you have to understand oh. it was people who was looking down Zacchaeus oh. but Jesus oh. he looked at Zacchaeus ah. he asked him to come down ah. he went into Zacchaeus home ah. Jesus even had food with him oh. on that day ah. Ah. Zacchaeus life was transformed ah. but one thing you should understand ah. Ah. what made Zacchaeus huh. what helped Zacchaeus ah huh. ah huh. what helped Zacchaeus ah huh. to see Jesus oh ladder did president help Zacchaeus to see Jesus no aka did you help Zacchaeus to see Jesus no oh no did you help Zacchaeus to see Jesus no then what helped Zacchaeus to see Jesus Jesus who helped Zacchaeus It is tree who helped to see Jesus. Ah. It is creation who is helping people to come closer to God. Ah. It is creation. Ah. So Ugadi teaches us second thing. Ah. Ugadi was teaching first thing ah. when incarnation of Christ ah. began ah. new beginnings. Ah. And second thing Ugadi teaches us ah. creation. Ah. brings us ah. closer to god oh. is srushti anta adbhutamainadi ah. ye srushti karta bhi bahut adbhut hai srushti ni chudaiya adi ento bagundi hey srushti ni chudaiya ento bagundi ana egana sanana hey ani vai hey andi ಚಿತ್ರಮೋಚಿತ್ರಮೋಚಿತ್ರಮೋಚಿತ್ರಮೋಚಿತ್ರಮೋಚಿತ್ರಮೋಚಿತ್ರಮೋಚಿತ್
did he start to also discriminate people no he didn't discriminate people like others discriminated him he is he started to looking down others that's what the transformation happened he did not look down anyone down but then he started helping others ah. he started embracing others ah. we have to see ah. now ah. what do you think ugadi teaches us the third thing ah. Ah. you tell us is it the new humanity yes we have guessed the correct can you clap for him oh. Oh. now we can see jack yous ah. as a transformed being ah. a new human ah. ugadi teaches us that ah. when jesus comes into our lives ah. we will be a new human ah. all things are gone ah. we are totally new now ah. we are not going to discriminate anyone ah. we are not going to oppress anyone ah. we are not going to suppress anyone ah. but we will be totally a new human oh. with new model ah. yesu ne yesayya ah. jakkayya ko ఈ విధంగా ముక్తినిచ్చాడండి ఏసయ్యా ముక్తినిచ్చాడు యేసునే ముక్తి దియా వెన్ యేసు గివ్స్ డెలివరెన్స్ హిస్ లైఫ్ వాస్ హ్యాపీ అండ్ సరౌండింగ్స్ పీపుల్స్ లైఫ్ వాస్ ఆల్సో హ్యాపీ సో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వాస్ హ్యాపీ అండ్ ఈవెన్ heaven was happy ah. when one sinner repents ah. so everywhere it was happy ah. so kushi se jumo nacho jumo nacho kushi se aaj bhaiya agale ana o akka ha tammi ha o challi ha everyone singing jumo nacho kushi se aaj ha but only my friend sinu is kushi ha <laughs> are you singing or ah. all are you just singing ah. or are you also rejoicing ha ah. if you are rejoicing ah. can you sing with me ha ah. okay jumo nacho kushi se aaj yesu mukti diya taliya taliya nacho khushi se aaj yesu mukti diya everyone jumo nacho sab mil ke gaenge ha yesu mukti diya yesu mukti diya yesu mukti diya o yesu mukti diya o nacho khushi ke ga yesu mukti diya jumo nacho ugadi has taught us so many things ah. incarnation of christ ah. begins new era ah. it has new beginnings ah. and also creation may, brings us ah. closer to god ah. the significance and function of creation theme in ugadi ah. displays that ah. yahweh is at work ah. and also you should know ah. the third thing ah. when jesus comes ah. we can see new humanity ah. and we should also follow jesus's model of ministry ah. what model of ministry is this ah. it is a borderless mission ah. he gave borderless identity ah. he redefined spirituality and made it borderless spirituality oh. sandano deva sandana 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 are chintare tantarita we all hope and pray that ah. we all will be new humans ah. and we also follow this model that jesus has told us ah. and also we will be a new and we will transform this society into new oh. when we follow jesus's model ah. we can also change ourselves ah. we can change the society ah. as there everyone was happy ah. we can see happy chennai ah. happy society ah. happy india ah. my dear brothers ah. my dear sisters ah. tandano deva tandana tandano deva ararara tandano deva tandana tandano deva ararara tandano deva tandana tandano deva ararachin 
चरिता चरिता सभी भाई और बहनों माय डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स ओ अकलरा अन्नलरा माँ गुरुलारा प्रियम इन ट्वेंटी शिष्यलारा to all who have gathered here ah. and have been listening to us patiently ah. and enjoying this dramatized narration ah. to all of you we say dhanyava tamlu Let us all stand and affirm our faith together. Let us affirm our faith together. We believe in God, the creator of the earth and sky, and all that inhabits them. God, the author of life, orchestrates the seasons of our experiences. bestowing upon us courage and confidence to face life's challenges we believe in jesus our savior and liberator who accompanies us on on this journey of faith in times of sorrow and difficulty he is our unwavering strength and in moments of joy and celebration he stands as a banner of hope on the cross jesus willingly gave his life and on the third day he triumphantly rose again offering abundant life to all the creation we believe in the holy spirit who moves like a mighty wind empowering us and liberating the world from the shackles of oppression and exploitation we believe in the church a community of faithful believers who care for one another and celebrate the goodness of life we believe in the coming of the lord to judge the living and the dead we believe in the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen i request everyone to be seated and now i invite our telugu friends for a special number
let us intercede we pray for andhra pradesh and telangana sovereign god we come before you with grateful hearts acknowledging your sovereignty over the lands of andhra pradesh and telangana we love to lift up the people of andhra pradesh and telangana to your tender mercies praying for your guidance protection and provision in all aspects of their lives we pray for the leaders of these states that you would grant them wisdom discernment and compassion as they govern their respective regions we pray for the prosperity and well-being of the people of andhra and telangana bless their efforts efforts in agriculture industry education and every sector of society we pray for the churches and missionaries here that your light would shine brightly in these regions strengthen your servants and empower them to be salt and light in their communities sharing the hope of the gospel with the boldness and compassion lord in your mercy let us pray continuously pray for peace in palestine and religious harmony in india peace giving god we humble ourselves and come before you to intercede for the residents of palestine who have been continuously suffering from injustices lack of basic necessities and alarming threat to their survival let their emergency situation be resolved and let peace be found in their exceeding pain along with this we also pray for religious harmony in our country help all the political leaders and citizens of india recall the experience and essence of it of unity in diversity instead of being drive by unity in in, uh, in uniformity teach us tolerance and make us adaptivity towards other religions while maintaining fidelity towards our principal doctrine lord in your mercy hear our prayers let us continue pray loving god we pray for our community which plays in undeniable and noteworthy role in shaping every individual let love reign over us and aid us to be obedient to your commandments that make us collectively attentively walk towards the goal that is set before us without being distracted humbling and questioning the purpose of our existence in gurukul and society we pray for our upcoming sequence of programs especially our graduation service and be in work your presence and help in smooth functioning of the same we pray for the students of bd2 currently residing in the parangipete grant them good health and let your strength be their portion lord in your mercy let us pray for the sick people in our community let us pray healer god we pray for the sick among us let the power of your wounded hands bring healing into their lives keep everyone away from all possible sickness we need your control over the physical and mental health of of every individual in our community as we are nearing the end of the academic year and student friends will be writing their final examinations give everyone sound health so that their sincere efforts may bear fruits we also pray for our campus children who are writing their board exams and school exams be with them and provide them courage and confidence to face every challenge with determination lord in your mercy let's say last prayer together oh god in heaven we honor you as the creator of all and the source of every blessing may your reign of love and righteousness be established in our hearts in our land we seek to follow your will and to live as faithful disciples of your son jesus christ guide us in your perfect will so that we may bring glory to your name and fulfill your purposes in our generation provide for our needs and grant us sustenance and strength forgive us for our shortcomings and help us to forgive others 
Keep us safe in your loving embrace and lead us in the paths of righteousness. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us continue to pray. Dear God, as we conclude this Ugadi worship service, we are filled with gratitude for the time we have spent in your presence and the blessings you have bestowed upon us. As we prepare to depart from this place, we ask for your continuous guidance and grace to be with us. Help us, Lord, to carry the joy and hope of Ugadi with us wherever we go, shining as beacons of your love and grace in your world that is often dark and weary. May the light of your presence within us dispel the darkness and bring healing and restoration to all who are in need. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness, your goodness, and your unfailing love. May we continue to walk in your ways, seeking your kingdom above all else, and trusting in your promises for our lives. Amen. Let us receive the blessings. May God, our parent, magnify the joy of Ugadi in our lives. May our liberator, Jesus Christ, redeem us from the clutches of oppression and bondage. May the empowering Holy Spirit accompany us in all the ways of our life. Amen. Let us all stand to see the doctor. Please be seated. Friends, at this time, I am standing before you on behalf of the entire Telugu family to say our gratitude and token of thankfulness to our God and for the entire community. At this time, at the outset, we thank God Almighty for enabling us to celebrate this Ugadi Aradhana in a grand way within a short span of time. For this, I thank God Almighty for enabling all of us to prepare well in this very limited span of time. And I also would like to thank our dear principal, sir, Reverend Dr. Sungaram Basmatari, and our chaplain, sir, Reverend Dr. Wilson Pauluri, and our gurus, Reverend Dr. Joseph Prabhakar Dayam, Reverend Dr. Jnana Prasanna Ma'am, Reverend Dr. Shanti Shoda, Monica Ma'am, Reverend John Pradeep Sir, and Sheila Ma'am. So, as a Telugu community, as the Telugu students, we would like to extend our heartful 
a word of thanks or wishes for the faculty for supporting us. Indeed, it was planned on a very short note within the span of five days. But by the grace of God and with the untiring efforts of the Telugu Fellowship, this has become possible. So for this, we thank the entire faculty and our student friends, the media team, and the mess managers, and all the people, our Telugu Fellowship, who have uh, contributed restlessly for preparing this decoration, worship, and especially a special word of thanks to the David and team, David, Prashantana, and uh, Bobby, and for the entire people who have performed a, a strange way in a strange way. Hope you all have experienced that. So I would like to thank God for all of this. Friends, a short uh, intimation from the Telugu Fellowship that the lines will begin from 145 on onwards. Don't worry. In the meanwhile, you are going to get a special Telugu sweet, which is known as Potarekulu. A very delicacy, a very delicious sweet immediately after the chapel outside of this campus, outside of this chapel. Thank you. Good afternoon all. Uh, this is a gentle reminder of today's program. As we are very busy nowadays in this uh, midst of that busy schedule, we are planning a, a very useful public lecture today evening at 4.30 in Jiganbala Auditorium. 4 o'clock in front of the auditorium, we are providing refreshment. Come and participate. The theme is uh, democracy, citizenship, and the electoral politics. Thank you.